Well, everyone, it's great to be back for the start of another week. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with some of the great questions that have come through. Some really, really good ones. We're going to start with, just with two of those examples. Lots more to share later in the week. Uh, and then we're looking at improper fractions today. And it's a bit of an experiment today as we have a look at, at, at those with these fractions cards. You'll see what I mean when I show you them. Uh, and you use them as well. If you think that you'll find them helpful for the main task, I'll put a link to them underneath the video as well. Use the fractions cards. They're really good, not just for improper fractions as well, but for finding equivalent fractions and other things. Anyway, I hope you find today really useful and uh, it's going to be a really good week. So on the last video, we had a look at comparing fractions to zero and one. And I think we gave the examples that, let's say, if we were comparing a sixth and a fifth, we'd know that a sixth is smaller because it's six um, is a smaller fraction of one. You know, here we're split into six parts rather than five parts. But if we were comparing four fifths and five sixths, then we'd know five sixths is more because then we'd be thinking, well, how far away from one is it? It's only a sixth away, whereas four fifths is a fifth away, which is more. We also said to compare fractions, we might need to put the fraction so one of them has the same denominator. So we had this example, well, 3 fifths and 11 fifteenths. Well, we can see here, but of course, if we didn't have these pictures to compare them, I could make 3 fifths into fifteenths by splitting each fifth into three pieces, or if you like, multiplying the denominator by three. Um, and so there we can see that um, here we've got 9 fifteenths, which is the same as 3 fifths, and of course, 11 fifteenths is more. And we had a look at this other idea of benchmark measures, maybe thinking about half, which is larger, four tenths or eight fifteenths. I don't really need a common denominator there. I can just see that four tenths is less than half, eight fifteenths is more than half, because eight is more than half of 15. Now, then I asked for some of your questions. It's been fabulous receiving them. We'll come on to some others later in the week as well. Um, so this is from Shambhavi. I hope I've pronounced your name correctly there. Um, so for each pair, circle the larger fraction and have a think about which strategy of those could you rely on here? So pause the video and have a think about those ones. Okay, and let's have a look. Um, so here we've got... Um, Five tenths and seven tenths, actually we can just compare there, we've got the same denominator, so we can just compare the numerator, the sevenths. Um, now in the other examples there, this benchmark of a half is really useful. And you see here, seven fourteenths is a half, um, so eleven thirteenths is more than half, so it, that must be more. Um, three sevenths less than half, five ninths more than half, five ninths is more. Ten fifteenths is more than half, four ninths is less than half. Love that for, for really building on that strategy. And then also we had these questions again from uh, Herbie. Um, thank you, Herbie. Some wonderful examples again from Herbie. Um, so again, any of these questions um, that you know which are, which are uh, larger and which are smaller of these fractions and rank them by difficulty. Now there's one I found blindingly difficult. Um, so Herbie likes to keep me on my toes. Pause the video and have a go. Which, which one's larger, which one's smaller and which questions did you find harder? Okay, and then when you're ready, let's have a look and let's see if we can... I'm, I'm going to talk through some of the strategies, at least, that, that I use to look at them. So again, four ninths, less than half. Um, four is less than half of nine. Thirteen out of twenty, that's more than half. Here, I actually put the six out of twenty into... And I converted that because I know that's the same as three out of ten. So I'm comparing three out of ten with three out of eight. And I know that three out of eight is more because each, each piece is larger because it's out of eight rather than out of ten. Um, then I had a look at eight ninths or eight tenths and just thought, well, how far away are we from one? So we're two tenths away from one um, with eight tenths and we're only a ninth away with eight ninths. So eight ninths will be larger. Now, what about four sevenths or five ninths? I think Herbie's done this one deliberately. Well, here I thought I'm going to have to put these in the same denominator to compare them. And so I'm going to make them out of 63. So I'm going to multiply 7 by 9 to make 63. So I'll have to multiply the 4 by 9. 36 out of 63. And 9 7s are 63. Um, so 5 times 7 is 35. So just about 4 7s is more than 5 9s. Now, today is all about more than 1. We're going to have a look at fractions when they become more than 1. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use the fractions cards. Again, you can use the fractions cards today as well. But wonderful for seeing improper fractions. We're really going to deepen your understanding of them now. So today we're looking at improper fractions. Um, fractions where we have more than one. 
Um, so can you see here my one there? We're going to use the fractions cards. Um, and so this is half of that one there. Can you see that? that that's half. Um, and there are two halves. So in total, two halves is the same as one. Let me just write that down. Two halves equals one. I can kind of see that they're the same. Okay. So in halves, what would uh, what would equal two? Well, let's have a look. Of course, it would be one half, two halves, three halves, and four halves is the same as two. There. Um, and so let's let's have a look at five halves. There we go. So there I've got, I can, there's two ways that I can write that. I could say I've got five halves. Um, or the other thing I could say is I've got how many in total? Two and a half. So I've got, that. that's kind of one, two, and that half as well. Okay. Um, and there we've got improper fractions and mixed numbers. And of course improper because there the numerator is more than the denominator. So let's just have a look at a few other examples. So I'm going to um, put my halves away. I'm going to keep holding my ones and we're going to have a look um, using just a few other fractions. So here, this time, in comparison to my one, I have got sixths. So you probably um, guess what I'm going to ask you. How many sixths make up one? Well, let's have a look. There are there four. I'm not quite at one yet. Five and six there. So let's say... Um, so there, I can see six sixths is one. Um, so if I put these down, can you see there at the moment, I have got eight sixths and that equals one and two sixths. Um, so there, I've got this amount as a improper fraction and as a mixed number. Um, now let's have a look um, at some others. So let's say two uh, in sixths, of course, would be, well, I've got six sixths in there. I'll have another six sixths in uh, in here um, and so there we've got 12 sixths so let's say if I was saying 13 sixths what is that as a mixed number well how many holes have I got I've got six 12 so I've got two holes uh, and I've got another sixth so 13 sixths two and a sixth I think the fractions cards are great for showing that uh, just one other example I've got a question for you which is this one so let's have a look. So at the moment, I'm going to put those two away. Uh, the only one way I can write this, it is at the moment, it is 11 twelfths. Um, and then here, then I've gone, so I've now got a one. I could call that 12 twelfths. And then when I get to here, I've got one and a twelfth. Or I could say that I've got 13 twelfths. Okay, right, challenge for you. Um, so... Under here, can you see, I have nine quarters, six thirds, and 14 eighths. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you to rank them in terms of which is, which is the most. And if you can, see if you can work out what they are as mixed numbers um, as well. So have a go, and then we'll have a look at them. So have a little pause now. And then just play when you're ready. Okay. So let's have a think, let's start, I'm going to put these up here to start off with. So let's start with the quarters. So hopefully you're able to predict um, how many holes and how many will be left over, but let's have a look. So that is three, four quarters, um, five quarters, six quarters. So I'm now at one and two quarters. Uh, and so there we go, we have got two holes and this other upside down quarter there we go so nine quarters is two and a quarter um so that's that one um now what about six thirds um well i can see that on one i have got three thirds so six thirds will be exactly if I can line them up well exactly two so six thirds is two um, and then what about my 14 eighths now maybe you thought this will be the most and um, because there's 14 of them which is the the most if you like so let's have a look so here it is of course it was 14 eighths 
Um, and let's have a look. Yes, so that's two eights, three eights. Well, you know there's going to be eight eights on this one. Um, I'll try and line them up as precisely as I can without spending ages. There we go. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen eights. And so here I have one hole and six eights left. Um, so nine quarters was the most, then it was six thirds, and finally, 14 eighths. So let's go a bit further in converting between mixed numbers and improper fractions. Now here, you won't exactly be able to finish the pictures, I'll do that for you. But see if you can work out two and a half, how many quarters, two and a half, how many eighths. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, and when you're ready, let's have a little look. Um, so two and a half. Um, well, we can see obviously here that we do have two and a half. How many quarters? I'll break that up. Well, one quarter there. Um, it, so four quarters there in that one. Another four quarters is eight. And then another two quarters there. So ten quarters. And two and a half. How many eighths? Well, of course, each circle, uh, each hole will be eight eighths. And then we'll have another four eighths and a half. Um, so eight, sixteen, and that for twenty eighths. Okay. Um, now have a look at this question. This question can be answered in different ways. Um, and I'm going to ask you to answer it in two different ways. I'm going to show you two, two different answers. And there are, of course, many others as well. Um, but pause the video and see um, two. If you, can you find two different possible answers there? Okay, so let's have a look at two possible answers. Well, three and a quarter. In each one, there's four quarters. So in three, there's 12 quarters. And the other quarter, 13 quarters. Um, now, there's lots of other different possibilities. So you could work it out in eighths um, or in twelfths and so on. Um, but how about this one? I thought I'd work it out in fortieths. So in three, in, in each one, sorry, there's 40 fortieths. So in three, there's 120 fortieths. Then I just need to work out um, a quarter is how many fortieths and add them all together. 130 fortieths. I wonder if anyone else came up with 130 fortieths. I'm sure that you've come up with lots of other ambitious examples if I know you. And for today's task, click on the blue link underneath the video. Uh, we've got a task A and a task B. So we've got which is more from these pictures here. And then finish the pictures. So see if you can finish by drawing the appropriate lines on there. And work out how many halves and how many quarters. And then can you convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers? So for these two questions, give these fractions as mixed numbers. And for these mixed numbers, give them as improper fractions. Um, task B is quite different. So when you order these improper fractions, what do you notice? There's an agree or disagree question. So for you, we're looking for an explanation as to how you know. Um, and then this question can be answered in two different ways. So what are those possible answers? The answers are at the bottom. And I am, as ever, really looking forward to seeing you back tomorrow.